Welcome back and thanks for joining us right here on Wake Up Nigeria. We're talking parenting at this point of the show. And it's about today's dad. Well, not exactly about today's dad. It's about how today's dad is taking care of a new mom. Who better to have this discussion with than Jesu Tola Ajao? Why? He is the creative analyst and founding principal at New Lagos Dads. That's a parenting platform for new dads, promoting improved parenting for a better society. It's always a pleasure having you on the show. Good morning. Good to see you again. All right. So the new Lagos dad, he is in traffic, heading home every day to and fro the office. He is worried about, you know, the upcoming school fees. He's worried about how many diapers are left in the house, but not because he has to change the diaper, because he knows he has to buy more. Yes, he has to buy more, yeah. The new Lagos dad doesn't have as much information as he should have because he's too busy hustling. Yes. Give us some insight in what, uh, into what dads need to know, especially immediately after a baby is born. Uh, well, a new dad must acquire knowledge. Uh, once you confirm your um, wife is pregnant, you have to acquire, you have to acquire as many, uh, you have to read as many books as um, it's available online. So you have to acquire a lot of knowledge as to taking care of a pregnant woman mm -hmm. and um, when the baby comes, what you need to do. Okay. Um, we know the society does not prepare a man. I keep saying this uh, for emphasis. The society does not prepare the man for what to expect or what he's going to be seen when he's married, when he's going to have a child, and how he's going to go up, how he should go about it. So uh, it's important for the man, with the help of the woman, to go on this journey with the woman. So women are in, in this society, in this culture, often pushed towards being the Hebrew woman, yes, handling it all, sucking it up. Oh, it's, it's not just you that has given birth. Women have been giving birth for decades, for centuries, um, meaning that they're not communicating as much with the fathers. Um, what can uh, the women actually do better um, during this journey, especially as soon as baby is born? Uh, well, because uh, before now, our mom uh, are actually the superheroes in the, in the family because of how the society was at that point in time, but things are changing now. You know, quite a number of career women, quite a number of people, family, and the society itself. So a woman must hold the man by the hand and take them on this journey. Okay. Uh, Co-parenting is a lot easier. It's a lot easier when both partners are involved. When you're parenting, when both partners are involved, it's a lot easier. I'm not saying women have not been doing awesome jobs in the past, but now, Men wants to be involved. They don't know what to do. You have to hold them by the hand to come on this journey with you. Okay, so what are those very important aspects that uh, dads need to know now? A brand, brand new baby has entered the house. Your house is no longer your house again. Um, what are the things dads need to know? Um, you have to pay attention to your woman. In as much as you are paying, all attention is on the baby. Um, oftentimes, the woman is a bit neglected somehow. So you, as a father, must pay attention to your woman. She's going to want to eat more now. Okay. Um, the chores in the house, she's going to want to also take care of the chores in the house if you don't have help. Mm. You have to be there to assist in a lot of ways. Okay. Um, she needs to get hydrated all the time. Okay. Uh, when you're coming back home, you don't come empty-handed. You always have to get something for her. Okay. You always have to encourage her encourage her she's doing well emotionally you know you always have to talk to her tell her you love her be there for her spend the uh, little time you have with you with her 100 percent mm. so i i'm hearing a lot of words of um so you're 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 giving words of encouragement to the woman now some women have been known to have incredible mood swings as soon as baby is born um some get depressed. We talked about postpartum depression earlier on today on the show. Uh, some women are just clueless as to what actually to do. They're not actually sure how to handle situations. What is a dad's reaction supposed to be? Um, the dad's reaction must look at it from the angle of uh, when, for instance, a hangover from a nightclub. Mm. You come back in the morning and something hits you. You do not know what. Okay. You have to look at it from that angle. She does not know. 
It just happens. She's not doing it intentionally. She does not hate you. She does not um, despite the fact that you put her in that condition or something, yeah. like some, a lot of people used to say. But she's going through that because of the changes going on in her body. Okay. You, as a man, must put, try and put yourself in, in her shoes. It's very difficult to do that, though, but you really must try and put yourself in her shoes. So you can actually um, help her get through this phase. Mm. Um, so I, I do realize that a lot of men end up feeling, in a sense, helpless. Um, like, no matter what they do, it's not going to make much of a difference. Do you believe it's true? No, it's not. Okay. Um, your effort counts. Mm. It might not count in the beginning because um, probably your mother-in-law or friends are around or helps are around. Mm. But at the end of the day, when they all leave or go to their house, mm. your help, uh, your help, will count a lot. Okay. She will come to realize it mm. over time. So you have to keep trying. You know, the baby is yours as well. It's not hers. It's not just hers. You guys are in it together. So if you let her be by herself alone, at the end of the day, it's going to come back to haunt you. I, I want to try and balance the list of things that a dad can do and what a dad can't do. So we all know that the breastfeeding part, the dad can't do that. Yes. But what are the things the dad actually can do? The dad, the dad can help, um, can learn how to change diapers. Okay. That's awesome. We've been teaching that over time. Okay. Um, the dad can also learn how to bop a baby. Oh, that's uh, be belching the baby. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Can bop a baby. Mm. And the dad can also learn to um, um, put the baby to sleep. Mm. You know, you can help put the Are you talking about that rocking, You have to rock and dancing, yes. You can, keep, you can keep some late nights to mm. help your wife sleep. Okay. You know, okay. I, I did that a lot uh, when we had the um, first child and the second one. Okay. So, and it helps you bond with your child. It's not just um, um, depriving yourself of sleep. It helps you bond with your child. Mm. Mm. That depriving... Uh, your self of sleep thing. I don't know. A lot of dads <laughs> don't know how to, they don't know how they're going to figure it's that out. It's difficult, but then you look at it like you're doing business. Okay. You know, you have to continue to invest in it. All right. You know. What about the cooking thing? So there are some men that, ah, man, they must have fresh food, though, you know, and mommy is still, you know, nursing a child, has probably been up all night, you know, but daddy is making demands of all sorts of meals that it just feels like a lot of work that is, um, that's where communication comes in okay. deciding how you want things to go mm -hmm. both of you have to sit down and decide the goal what you want to achieve how do you want to achieve the uh, changes that comes okay you know you can't be uh, both of you can't be available for last minute hangouts anymore mm. you can't you can't that can't just decide Dis disappear as it used to disappear with boys, mm. you know, at this point in time, both of you must sit down and decide. Mm. You know, some men are learning how to cook. Okay. We, t we, we brought someone at one of our conferences and then we showed men how they can make basic meals, mm. snacks for, for women during this period. So things are changing, the norms are changing. Men are more interested in parenting right now. I'm so pleased to hear this and it's very encouraging. Uh, because you remind me of, of a man's man. You know, you have, you have and had your boys with you as well, and you're going the extra mile to also do these trainings. Uh, the responses you've been getting, just give me one or two of the responses you've been getting from that. Uh, well, uh, we had a session with a couple last year. Okay. And uh, before then, they were always fighting about something, a task and all that. So we had this therapy session we had with them, and a doctor came on board and all that, and we spoke with them at length. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw them at one of the festive, baby, baby fest uh, we had over the weekend. And, okay. Uh, um, immediately they saw me, they were very happy and they okay. shared their experience. Now they have another child and the oh. man was the one carrying the baby. And before then, he would not even touch a baby. He doesn't know how to carry a baby. Wow. So he's learned on the job. He's become a pro. He's also passing on the knowledge, you know. I used to say, if you fail to train your child, a boy child as well, yeah. they will not make your girl child happy. Hmm. That's the society. It's designed that way. The, 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 the male child you're training to be perfect yeah. might end up be, being with a male child that's not trained. So okay. we, we all, as men, must learn to pass, to learn to mirror a perfect image for our sons coming up. You know what? I, I don't think we can say so much more on this, but we can always take your comments and contributions online. Uh, why not? Send us your messages. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC and ask 
uh, Jisutola, uh, any questions you might have. Hopefully we've encouraged a brand new dad out there.